And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Thresh Control being our next deck up here. This deck has a whole lot of life gain. It can really uh, come back from being behind because of all this uh, life steal, I guess it is called. But you know, we have Health Potions, Emerald Awakener, and then Grasp the Undying, Withering Whale. And those things all get kind of doubled with Karma also especially when you have the enlightened karma then you can start gaining a lot of life um so we're not really doing anything turn one or turn two like vile feast is our only card to play turn one turn two we're really setting up turn three and you know we're basically banking the spell mana and then setting up turn three having um one of our three drops you know awakener shadow assassin solitary monk and then we kind of protect it or bring it back with miss call and kind of go from there um this deck is, is pretty good against burn because of all the life gain and all the removal. Um, that's that's kind of like what, what we're uh, playing against here, anti-aggro. But there are a lot of control decks running around these days. We'll kind of see how this does against other control decks. This was the list that we played, oh, uh, probably about five days ago or so now. There are more control decks, though, so I kind of wonder if we should have more denies than what we do have. But we'll just keep it the same. It worked out pretty well last time. Uh, we do have a Ledros at the top to be able to help finish out games against Control. Um, and uh, yeah, Solitary Monk's good in here. Um, it's basically this is a, this is like one of our best turn three plays since we since we're not playing anything on turn one or turn two. We can play it as a, a four three elusive. It's a good blocker. You can bring it back with Mist Call. It's not really, you know, like you you don't really want this later on because like later on if you have like karmas and stuff in play, you don't want to be bouncing them back to your hand. But you could have it where um, a couple of times it does happen like where you have like just like rekindler as your last thing. Like you maybe make blocks and you can keep a rekindler alive and have it bounce rekindler back to your hand. And that can be awesome. And sometimes you want to, you know, play like Shadow Assassin on three and then you actually play Shadow Solitary Monk on four to, to bounce your Shadow Assassin so you can replay it and draw another card in some matchups and sometimes if your hand uh, has you do that but all right let's play it though um yeah <clears throat> let's see if we can get some wins it's been a while since we've won some games we got karma lux this would be a great deny matchup Just send them all back. I like Mist Call in this matchup, but I want I want to have like a, a three drop first. I don't want to like keep Mist Call and then we don't draw any allies. We just draw spells and then my Mist Call is not doing anything. This is a pretty slow deck. Um. We'll go with this first. So basically they're turning that retreat into another Shadow Assassin. Pretty good. Pretty good. That's the really the ideal use of that card. Shark for Shadow Owl. I guess we could. I don't remember. This was like our our layout for this one before. <laughs> I like this guy though too. All right, that's a pretty tough five five. Nice. 
Don't think I just challenger it with Thresh. All right, gonna bounce it. So if they want to replay it, takes up, you know, like all their mana. All right. I don't know. I feel like I'd, I need to save Vile Feast for a barrier. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Lux just always bragging. Always bragging about that light following. I can't have one more mana and ruination. Again, I like I like kind of just sticking these things in their hand, slow them down of you know, making them spend all this mana again to play these things. I don't think I play for Ruination. Yeah, Misfortune's base. Yeah, I, I must have seen Misfortune with Quinn. I have played Misfortune without Quinn before. Video is a, a little old. Ouch. There you go with misfortune with aggro, or sorry, <laughs> with Noxus playing an aggro deck. That was very good for my opponent. together 
I, I do want to set up, like, Solitary Monk, put all this stuff back in my hand, and then Ruination. Like, that's what I want to set up. But I kind of have to do that where they don't have four mana available anymore. To deny Ruination, or I guess I could... I guess I could do that and then still untap and ruination again. My Heart and mind as one. must thrive for the mind to be free. So how many denies are they going to have? This is risky. Just best best case scenario, they don't have deny. You will be scoured from this land. If I must, as fate wills. Okay, I guess Unyielding Spirit... That's why I should not have played Will of Ionia. Early? I, I have two Will of Ionias. I played them both earlier. Like, I, I didn't have any Will of Ionias left in my deck. So the Unyielding Spirit, of course, is just game over. It's a weird game. That... The Radiant Guardian play was awesome for them. I wonder if I was just supposed to not play anything forever and just try to work towards, you know, just play Ruinations and just wait forever. You know, you know, and not play the... Uh, what are we playing against? Lee's Trindamir? I'll keep this. I'm going to keep this Ledros. Maybe I shouldn't, but I kind of want to. Nah, I shouldn't. You know, not play the Will of Ionias. You know, not bounce and put stuff back in their hand. Just let them continue to play stuff. And just force them to have... Um, force them to have denies. I feel like that's how I was supposed to play the game. And round.
playing a shadow assassin playing shadow assassin does mean I'm weak to brood awakening, which means that my opponent's probably gonna have brood awakening. how the last that's how today and like the last three days have gone Sounds of prey. Let me change so Elise has flipped we are gonna you know still clean up all this other stuff but they have a leveled up Elise We'll see how bad that truly is going to be. Hey, Avon Snow, you've been doing good with uh, Fiora Vi. Going Bannerman with Splash and Vi. Cool. Okay, you want to try it out? Okay. No, I bet I bet it's gonna be pretty good. That's gonna be good. And Elise is just yelling at these hapless aristocrats. Okay, doing the championless burn today. That's such a good deck. I haven't been seeing it as much recently. I've been playing against it as often. Wow, feast. Which one do I want to do first? Whale or Feast? I mean, doing Feast first gives them the opportunity to play something else for me to hit with Withering Whale. Which is the good news, but the bad news is it does let them know that I'm going to be Withering Whaling. does make it very obvious that I'm going to be withering wailing. Yuck. I do need to say vengeance. I can't vengeance Elise. I need to say vengeance for they who endure. Nautilus is terrifying. I love the level up art on Nautilus. The, the second Nautilus art looks so good. So I don't really want to play deep meditation and then they kill one of these things. I kind of want to, you know, keep the mist call up, keep Will of Ionia up if we would have needed that or something. Or 
We're so close. Go get three more points in. Oh no. Where there is light, there is hope. Neverglade Collector is oh no. like this. Oh, I don't like this. I feel I should bounce one of these two, but I don't know which one. Elise doesn't spend doesn't cost very much mana to spend, but they can't just go straight to attacks with bouncing Elise. Because they definitely need to play Elise before combat. So that keeps them from going straight to attacks. Keep my mana up for vengeance for that. All right, we got we got some health potions. All right, so let's see. Cast okay, both health potions. Bleh. This is still cast both health potions. Let's cast one health potion. Rest. Collect your thoughts. Would I rather play this other health potion or keep Shadow Assassin alive? Um... Not sure of the answer to that. Because after this, health potion is going to be able to heal a lot, which could certainly help. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. All right, we'll we'll keep the shadow assassin alive. Was good. Well, that could work out really well. That's is our luck turning around finally.
I don't really want to pass seven mana worth of it. Like, if they have atrocity, I lose. I can't... I, I can't beat atrocity, though. Like, what am I... All right, so if I do something, obviously I lose to atrocity. If I just pass the turn, they just go straight to attacks, which force, forces me to do something, and then they atrocity and still kill me. There's no way for me to beat atrocity. I was hoping that they were going to have atrocity in response to my attack for eight, that they were going to atrocity and then I'd be able to vengeance in response and win with the, I guess we wouldn't have really won with the eight because the Neverglade Collector. SI just means Shadow Isles. The region. No, Atrocity did not kill the Neverglade. It, the Neverglade triggered. Alright, face and burn. The ruination so slow. Thresh is pretty slow too. Won't get past me. I want vile feast or withering whale. Pretty good start. You're late, Vile Feast. You're late. Monk can block the rookie. Strike hard. I have my orders. This thing will block the 3 2. Play the Shadow Assassin to block rear guard. Rather have you know keep awakener and grasp the undying for future times when we don't get to just play a blocker. Twin disciplines can be really nice with. 
Awakener e either making it a larger lifesteal or protecting. Either way. Still have a bunch of cards in hand. Let me show you what I can do. Remember the objectives. No. Don't do that. That's bad. So if they have transfusion, I'm in a lot of trouble. Really hope no transfusion. Yay! That was big. I knew, and now I think we have this now. These double health potions. It is tempting. Tempting to do plus three, plus zero on the Awakener. But then I don't have any, you know, like then a Mystic Shot breaks that up. Could be bad. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. No, I can't stop that now. I was supposed to just. I guess I could have incited ages, see what happened. But, like, what am I gonna get that actually stops that? Like. You know, like. Um. Will of Ionio would tap me out. Be risky. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Where are you at? Three? I mean, I guess this game's just over. Okay. To so say, if, if our combat happens, the game's just over. I was thinking that was good because we got to pump up, um, em you know, the Emerald Awakener even more. But the combat's just. If the combat wins, it's just over. Yeah, Unyielding Spirit is the spell that makes something unkillable. Yeah, that's Unyielding Spirit. Man, Harvey is just tearing up. 
tearing up a food can. Her chew toy. I should give the dogs a, a bone today, since, since I'm going to be I'm just streaming all day, and they're kind of sitting there bored. I should give them a chew toy. What are we doing, Weihammerdinger? The little Vione is not bad, but it's not necessarily something that we need to have in our opener. been designing your own cards over there cool it's hard for me to do that while I'm playing and streaming like you know really read through them and everything um, but that does look really cool if people in chat you know want to check that out and and everything but Does look really nice. Like the design and everything on them look look really good. But I don't really have the ability to play, stream, talk about like my playing, and everything, and then I'll and also read the cards and talk on those. But it looks great. I'll I'll check it out later. Like I haven't saved. Okay, so we're going to let solitary monk die, and then we're going to revive a solitary monk. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, so you're playing Spooky Karma with yeah the Elise version. Yeah, the games definitely go very long, don't they? So I don't have any great answers to Heimerdinger. Like, I, I have a removal spell with Grass the Undying. But, you know, like, if they have, like, Twin Disciplines for protection, I'm kind of in trouble. The good news is I, I have answers to turrets. You know, if they're making, like, the 3-1 turrets, like, if they go, like, you know, double, triple, flash of brilliance, like, we'll be fine because we got Withering Whales, even a Vile Feast. Okay. Um, yeah. Let none disturb my meditation. Could I have used Twin Disciplines pr to protect my Tutu over there, Tutu? Cool. But now I'm glad I didn't. Skill and grace Claws of the breath. Dragon. I don't think there's any like plunder cards they're going to be playing. Where there is life, there is hope. Sure. You want to pass all, on all your mana? Ooh, the harrowing. I don't know if I've ever gotten harrowing before as a random card from Karma. So nine cards in hand. I walk my path alone. I'm really glad I didn't uh, just throw a vile feast out on that thing, so I just picked it up. 
I am incentivized to play something. Get cards out of my hand. Sapling toss. It's an e easy card to cast, at least. Barrier Lifesteal on the Solitary Monk. Okay. Um, I suppose they win this round. Dragon's Rage. Hey, yep, Andrew. Yep, that's me. Yeah, this game's great, isn't it? Yeah, I've kind of switched over to... to playing uh, Runeterra. Alright, so they've passed... It's a withering whale. I'm gonna do it. I got two mana left. They got nine. I don't know. The, the, the problem with this is it does open up my karma to getting killed. We can find another karma. A karma being dead is kind of good for my rekindlers if we find one of those. And... The goal is to turn this into two toughness and have my sapling challenge the solitary monk. This is my goal. Yeah, you just, how do you start streaming? Just download a streaming software. I use Streamlabs OBS and, you know, start a schedule and keep to it and just keep playing and talking with chat and everything like that. All right, well, Vi means that I'm not really attacking with anything else, I suppose. So here we go. Not a bad one to draw the stun the attacker that we can use on Vi. My wisdom was not my it's not bad. I need no weapon. Trouble coming at ya. I can also use vengeance, but a lot better chance that vengeance gets countered. Let's start. Oh, right. We have leveled up karma, though. Nothing's getting countered. I was, was going to say, let's start with that. How that gets denied, then vengeance.
Right, nothing's getting countered these days. They just passed. I still need to play more things. I guess I don't. We don't generate cards anymore. We're at nine. Yeah, okay. I thought we were at ten. We're at nine. It's like I could attack with Karma and also let them block Karma, have my Karma die so I can bring it back with Rekindler, but uh, I could play like, you know, Rekindler and Mist Call. Have two Karmas in. I guess three Karmas because we'd play Rekindler first and then we'd play Mist Call and so we would double cast the Mist Calls. But I don't need to do that. Alright, so Dragon's Rage is slow. I don't, yeah, I don't think that's the case, Andrew. Yeah. Alright, so they're tapped out. What do we want to do? I guess I just Vengeance. I don't, I don't think we dragons, I think it's better to vengeance over dragon's rage. Alright, so yeah, they're trying to draw more cards. Or they, they may have drawn the Solitary Monk off of the Shadow Assassin. That could have happened. So I wonder, does this like actually happen twice? But like with the first one killing it, will it just, will the second one not happen? Will it fizzle? Or will it actually happen and then we have lethal? I would assume it would fizzle. Okay, yeah, fizzled. More karmas.
I don't know what I don't know if there's like a, a best I don't think there is like a deck that's best all around. Honestly, I don't think there I don't think there is one. Yeah, I really love the the shared turns. I really love how um you know, it's not I have I have a turn, you ha then then the next turn you have a turn. It's that it's just turn 1 we both do stuff, turn 2 we both do stuff. It just allows so much more back and forth. Yeah, it's so much more interactive with that. Yeah, no Heimerdinger for our opponent. It was sad. They didn't. They didn't have a, a whole lot. They had a lot of, you know, looks like they had a lot of protection and a lot of flash of brilliances, and didn't get to their uh, Vime. They didn't get to their Vi till like way too late, and never just never even got to their Heimerdinger. Okay, what do we have? Sejuani Timo. I don't know what that's about, but I like it. We're gonna get we're gonna mulligan these two and keep those two. Hmm. A if they have turn one Timo, I'm in a lot of trouble. So of course they're gonna have turn one Timo. So I'm not gonna answer it for a few turns. I guess they only really technically get one attack before the assassin is played. No, I don't, JCJ. I don't. Well, play this. I only have two rekindlers in the deck, and I, I mulliganed one. And then we immediately drew two more. So that's not great, but. Say la vie. No, I don't, Andrew. Nope. I play I play Legends of Runeterra every day here on stream. Let's see. Lots of cards I want to play. Can get away with playing Thresh this turn. I think it's my best play. And I think I'm supposed to challenge the Puff Cap. Peddler, honestly. No. We're taking a lot of incidental damage, just kind of in general. It's mm, gonna level up, Timo. But with all of our life gain that we have, hopefully we can even it out. Lots of puff caps.
No! Stop. Need to get this peddler out of here. Even if he's not a peddler. Get these peddlers out of here. Hope they don't have another Teemo in hand. I'm gonna do this now like while I get another six puff caps. Mm, another Omen Hawk. Okay. Four Teemo. Ionia speaks through me. Oh, wow. Wow. That was amazing. I mean, Rekindler brings back karma. It's just, can I afford to draw a card? And, you know, like, if I obviously if I draw four puff caps, I die. So, can I afford to play Rekindler? I mean, I, I guess not. Like, basically, do I have to play a health potion right now? Can I play Rekindler first and get karma first to double up the health potion? I guess I probably should just play a health potion. Just to be safe. Yeah, Ledros is pretty necessary in other control mirrors. It's just one one copy. Man, thank you so much. Glad to see one of my favorite MTG streamers playing this game. Yeah, it is awesome, isn't it? Thanks, thanks, Boo Man. Six, six. Thanks, Boo Man, our fourth sub of the day. Another day in the field. I'll pick up you, Planum Kid. This is my cause. I hurt 
Well, glad we played that <laughs> that health potion last turn. And we didn't wait till the karma, we would have died. All right, options. Do the plus on the Awakener and then gain 12 life. But then my Awakener's dead. Or save it and only gain six. I think we gain 12 right now. So Deep Meditation would be good to play, but we, we take a lot of damage for playing Deep Meditation. I guess we play it, though, and see if we find a removal spell for Teemo. Cool, found some more life gain, at least. Stop. No, no, no. That's a lot of numbers. Ugh. Told you we take a lot of damage. We took nine. Yeah, it just happens. Um, yeah, I like that. So it is possible that we hit. Of course I'm ready. Yeah, that we hit the spider. We got we got ten power. They're at ten. And it's gotta be smart to play this pre-combat, right? It's gotta be. Dude, we have healed a ridiculous amount this game. I don't know what the exact numbers is, but I don't know. 40 life? <laughs> I don't know. We've... Yeah, like that's what this this deck can really, really heal. Alright, so starting to win some. We're three and win three and two. With Karma Thresh Control, the life, the life steal in this deck, life gain, whatever you want to call it, is amazing, um, especially with leveled up Karma later on. And so, the games are really close. You're not going to win all of them, but I do like how this deck is positioned against aggro decks. We, you know, we saw that we beat Burn Aggro, and we beat that Teemo deck that was really trying to give us a lot of pup caps. That Teemo deck looked pretty good, though. It really did, especially with how much control is around. My opponent's Teemo deck did look good. No, I don't really like Eye of the Dragon. Honestly. I I thought that Eye of the Dragon was going to be amazing. Like, when, it, when we were talking about it during preview season, I really thought it was going to be great, but... Um... I don't cast two two spells in a turn very often. It's not till like really really late game that I actually cast two spells in a turn. Like my spells are expensive. <laughs> like they're they're basically all cost like three plus mana, but like the three mana is just missed call twin disciplines. They really cost four plus mana, and really it's like five five mana. You know, like it's really like I don't cast two two spells in a turn hardly ever. Um. 
so yeah, so there's Karma Thresh Control. So if you're if you're playing on like a lower rank where you do run into aggro all the time, you know, like if people are just playing a whole lots of aggro and you, and you want like a control deck against aggro, this one's pretty good. You're not going to win 100% of the, the games, but you have a lot of life gain uh, to stay alive. And you, you play some some interesting games. The games are close and they're, they're fun to play. <clears throat> all right. Anyway, um, that's Karma Thresh Control. So um, that's our second deck for our, our uh, 10 hour stream. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave a comment. Um, always appreciate those as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.